Okay, this is going to be some more command line interface basics um, using Cisco Packet Tracer. And in previous um, tutorials, I've talked about working with routers. So, you know, I'm, I usually pull out a generic router, but this time I'm going to pull out a generic switch and talk about um, basic configurations on a generic switch as well. Um, you're going to get to grab an end device, a PC here. And just a note for those of you taking a Cisco type curriculum, in the curriculums oftentimes some of these tabs, if you click on the router, you'll see the config tab and the command line interface tab. These will be locked on the exams. So you won't be able just to click here and get to your um, command line interface or click here and go to config screen to config your fast ethernet interface using what amounts to like a GUI, a graphical user interface, like a almost as if this was a uh, you know, a, a web administration tool, right? A web browser, ba a browser based admin tool. So these will be locked. So what you're going to have to do is, just like um, a real IT admin, network admin, you're going to have to get your PC and you're going to have to go and get a console cable and you're going to have to attach it to the serial port on the computer, drag it over and attach it to the console port on the router. And if you have to configure the switch, then you'll click on this X and you'll X out the console cable and you'll put another one here and you'll console into the switch. And that's what I'm going to do right now is we're going to console into the switch and do a, a little quick configuration on the switch. So now I will click on this PC and I will go to desktop terminal which is an emulator for hyper terminal. These are the correct settings to for a terminal serial connection and I'll click OK, and now I'm in the and now I'm in the um, switch. Um, I'll hit return to get started, and you can see down at the pom at the bottom the prompt is user exec mode prompt for the switch. It's pretty much the same as the router, and a lot of the commands are the same as the router. In other words, if I want to get to privileged mode, I type enable and hit enter, and now I see the um, privileged user mode um, command mode prompt of the pound sign and if I want to configure the switch I'll say configure terminal hit enter and now I'm in global config mode and now I can change the host name host name and I'll say Dan's dash switch and now the name changed from switch to Dan switch alright if I want to put a uh, password on line console zero then what I'll do is I'll type line console zero and I'll hit enter and now I can type uh, password so I'll say uh, password space Cisco right and then log in and now line console zero um, has a password for um, user mode password. If I want to do an enable password to get to privileged mode, then what I'll do is I'll do control C or I'll type um, I'll type end. Okay, now I'm in privileged mode again. I'll say configure terminal. Now I'm in global config mode and I was going to do an enable password for privileged user mode so I can do enable instead of password I could do a secret password to make it hashed encrypted so I'll say enable secret and the secret password I'll make it also Cisco right or typically you could make it class or something like that for the Cisco curriculum so enable secret Cisco and hit enter and now that should take let's do a control C to get out of there and we'll do a copy run tab STA tab and save our configuration. Now what I can do is I can do a show run for show running config and you can see there's the host name Dan switch there's my enable secret password here are my interfaces for the um, switch you can see I have some fast Ethernet interfaces and then you can see here's some few differences here's interface VLAN 1 notice no IP address and it's shut down every switch by default 
has an interface VLAN 1 and all these ports by default are part of interface VLAN 1. I mean they're they're on VLAN 1 all of the ports by default. If we want to telnet into this into this switch or we want to SSH connect administratively to the switch then we will need to give it an IP address. So if we give interface VLAN 1 which is a virtual interface right there's no port on the switch that says VLAN 1 on it. There's just Ethernet ports on the switch. So this is a virtual interface, this interface VLAN 1. If we give it an IP address, then we will be able to telnet into the switch on any of these um, interfaces, these Ethernet interfaces. We can plug a cable into any of the Ethernet interfaces and telnet in. And so we're going to do that. Also, you can see here there's line console 0. There's the password Cisco that we put in, the login command. And then you can see here there's line VTY 0 through 4, login, and then line VTY 5 through 15. So you can see there's actually 16 virtual terminal potentials to um, configure on the switch for Telnet access. And we'll need to do that too. Okay, so let's configure these line VTYs. So what we'll do is we'll say conf which is short for configure, t which is short for terminal, hit enter, now I'm in global config mode and I'll say line and what I've done in the past is just done line vty 0 space 15 to go all the way from 0 to 16. Let's see if we can do that, we might not be able to. Um, and I'll hit enter and I'll say password Cisco and then login and now I'll take a look to see if that took. So I'll do a show run and you can see here that by doing 0 space 15 it put the password Cisco and login under both of these uh, separate VTY um, configurations in the, con in, the, um, in the running configuration. So now let's set up this interface VLAN 1 with an IP address so we can telnet into the switch. So I'll do a conf tab configure t tab terminal as you can see that's what it's short for and hit enter and now I'm gonna say interface VLAN space 1 can I do it that way let's try and sure enough I'm in interface configuration mode and now I can just give it an IP address just as if it was an actual interface and not a virtual interface so I'll say 192.168 and I'll say dot one dot we'll say two fifty right so I'll give it a, a number of one dot two fifty and then I'll hit enter and it says incomplete command oh what did I forget I forgot my subnet mask so okay so now we're good and now I'll type no shutdown all right, and now it says interface. As soon as I type no shutdown, immediately the interface VLAN 1 changes the state to up. I can type N now, and now I'm back to my privileged user mode. So we should be able to telnet into the switch now, and let's see if we can try that out. So what we can do is we'll take this switch and we'll grab a, another PC. All right, we'll just grab another PC over here. All right and this PC we will put a straight through cable going from the Ethernet port on the PC to the switch port and we'll just we'll pick a fast Ethernet port right so it's in a random port there right into the switch and since this switch is um, uh, VLAN 1's IP address is 1.250 we're going to need to give this computer an IP address so we'll just go desktop IP configuration and we'll say 192.168 whoops dot one dot one hundred which is very typical and I'll even set the one dot one gateway for our future router okay which we're gonna set up in in the future okay and I'll close that so this PC has now been set up with this address. I like to put the addresses here so I can see it. Now we should be able to 
telnet into the switch. Let's see if we can do it. We'll open this up. We'll open up a command prompt and we'll type telnet 192.168.1.250. Hit enter and there it is. Password Cisco. Now I'm in the switch. Enable password Cisco. Now I'm in privileged user mode. I'm in privileged user mode and I can run any kinds of commands I want on the switch. This is administrative um, telnet access into the switch. So it worked.